Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we got here to Dialac. Everybody is a statue. And we got a tip from some lone old man who is uh, apparently the guy trying to save everybody here with... Uh, uh, what the hell was it? Angel tier. It was like some angel tier item, but apparently, uh, yeah, it was too late. So, um, we're gonna find out. Or I guess I'm just gonna find out uh, what goes on in this town in the very darkest of nights. They're sleeping soundly, so I'm just gonna take off and take a look around. Man. So, uh, yeah, this town apparently had a, uh, precipitation problem. They were desperately in need of rain. They thought that God wouldn't forsake them and, uh, and give them rain eventually, I guess. Well, this part is pretty cool, man. I like how they do all these flashbacks here. Joseph. A little kid named Joseph. Okay. Thank you for the info. It's not allowed to draw on the side of a fucking... Okay, whatever, kid.
This clay man seems like a pretty, pretty studly guy, huh? Yeah, these these flashbacks here are kind of like the moments before, I guess they uh, they all turn to stone, or at least I know one of them is. Jealous intentions. Yeah, you should be praying to the water god. That would make sense, right? What? Okay, that literally didn't make any sense. At least it didn't make sense to me. I mean, what? You should you should worship a boulder, a natural boulder over your whatever. Look at that, they're smooching.
Leave that glow as their spite for me, radiating from their cold stone forms. Let me tell you a little of the history of this town. This area has always been in a perpetual drought. Once a year, all of the townspeople would gather and pray for rain. When their prayers were finally answered on that fateful day 50 years ago, I had gone to the distant town to purchase supplies. See, I'm thinking this old man is actually clay man. I could be wrong about that. While I was on my way back, I saw a dark, ominous purple cloud settle over the village. Yeah, what, what everybody should have really done was said, Run for your lives, people! There's a shit cloud coming! Right? <laughs> well, if you watch Kingpin, you'll, you'll know where that line came from. So yeah, this guy wishes that he was uh, among the people turned to stone 50 years ago. I guess. I don't know why. I don't know why anybody would want to be a fucking rock. What, so I guess they don't have drinking aids in this town, do they? But not least, we have this fella. Wow, what's wrong with somebody making a living selling booze? As if that's something that's just abhorrent that you can't take his advice. Side. Oh, we didn't make it. Statue hit. Ooh, it crumbled. Well, let's take a look around, shall we? Huh. 
on a note written in childish handwriting in between two books. Of course I'm going to read it. After finding the secret base, I made another great discovery. I can't believe the town has a place like this. The entrance is under the pointed tree near my markings on the cliff. The second base is underground beneath the bar where my father likes to go. Okay. So there's actually like two different places to search, I guess. There's nothing else in here. Yeah, you gotta. I think you gotta search like. I want to say it's like right around this area. Or maybe we can't find it yet. Maybe the game's not gonna let me find it yet. Oh, never mind. Oh, I can't see very well. Yep, okay, that means we can't actually uh, get to it yet. Just trying to make sure I got all the flashback scenes. I think I talked, yeah, I think I ended up talking to everybody. So yeah, at this point we just want to go back to the inn and go back to sleep. I did. I can hardly believe what I'm hearing, a coward like you ventured out all by yourself. That wouldn't make me a coward now, would it? Oh, a lot happened at night. You were just, you know, too busy sleeping, of course. Anyway, let's talk to that old man again. If he's even around. Oh, he's over there now. I don't know. I can't remember if there's something here in the bar. He said something about the bar. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I think I'm searching on the wrong spot. I can't remember, exactly remember this part. But the way he made it sound like he made it sound like there were actually two entrances or two bases. The angel tear supposedly dissolves in air and then gently floats to the ground. My guess is that it's meant to be used from a great height. It'll be no it'll be of no use to you here though. Head someplace else. Okay. Good advice. Hey, we found a staircase leading down. up on those herbs there's gonna be a boss in that in the next area where I'm gonna need to have a bunch of herbs probably gonna want to stock up on a few before I go to, uh, to face him secret base number two Hey, look at that. Look where we're at. We're high above everybody. 
So guess what I'm going to use? Must be secret base number one over there then. Cool. Well, it doesn't look like it worked on the uh, the other the other ones. Can I just jump down? Guess not. Well, we we dispelled the darkness. It's gotta count for something, right? So this kid got to stay a kid. He didn't age a day. Uh, yes I do. So maybe we are telling the truth, kid. Okay, so this kid has temporarily joined our party. that Maribel you don't have a heart we all know that all right we get a land shard yay all right so let's talk to the little girl Let's examine her. Did we make them? No, we're not artisans, alright? say that about every statue why did you even hear in the first place yeah we're just gonna have uh, we're just gonna go over and talk to the old man because uh, you're obviously too stupid to figure out shit on your own kid So his secret base actually uh, preserved him quite well. I mean, he didn't even age. Having found new hope, the light of life returns to old to the old man's face right before your eyes. 
There was no one left anymore. The boy at last begins to recognize the truth of the situation. It took him long enough. The old man says that he wants to take care of Joseph, who seems to have taken to the old man himself. And then dawn broke. <laughs> yeah, we know. Uh, you're gonna ask me something. Well, what is it? But I told you, I got, I went outside and I uh, did some things at night. Yeah, I did something useful for a change. Huh? How about that? We are done here. All right, so time. Good time to end the episode. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest VII. In the next episode, I will go back to the present. And we're going to check on Dialect in the present time. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.